and away was the theme as aerobatic pilots took to the skies of Kenora this week. The show began with Super Dave Matheson reaching new heights in his custom-built Shaden MX-2, one of only 11 planes of its kind in the world. But that's not how he got his name. Yeah, I actually was flying a Cessna 180 on floats here in, uh, in northern Ontario, and the control column disconnected from the dash. So I flew it with the trim, the power, and uh, opening and closing the doors to uh, get it back to base. Other pilots who took the controls included the entertaining Kent Peach. He performed a comedy act, hurling objects at local authorities, and landing on top of a pickup truck before it was all over. Then, things got loud. The CF-18 Hornet was next in line and did not disappoint, producing more than 32,000 pounds of thrust. Mayor Dave Canfield, who took part in the show himself, says despite a late cancellation by Red Bull pilot and Red Lake native Pete McLeod, the show was sure to be a success. Pete broke his leg parachuting, so stay in perfectly good aircraft. Why jump out of it and break your leg for a guy that, you know, plays with life every day? But um, there's all the other stunt pilots and, and everything is going to be phenomenal. Uh, you know, I'm sure next time Pete's going to make it. Uh, this has turned out to be a tremendous success with the weather, with the people. We don't know how many people yet, but there's thousands of them out there. The night was capped off by the famous snowbirds flying in and out of formation with expert accuracy and precision. Earlier in the day, crowds were given an up-close look at World War II bomber and fighter planes, as well as given the opportunity to learn a little bit more about the aviation industry. The event is designed to inspire youth to reach for the sky, and organizer John Gale says their show is one of the best. This is a real, real air show. I think we're about two acts shy of the Interna Toronto International Air Show. I mean, they've got more jazz and a jet car and all that stuff, but in terms of actual aerobatics, we're, we're right up there. We feel like we're the kind of city that can celebrate at this scale and uh, of course we've got some wonderful assets downtown in the White Cap Pavilion for folks and the MS Kenora is taking people out. I noticed it went by my house last night, full load, so we're just happy. It's great for the economy, great for our community and we just love to have people come and visit and celebrate uh, how beautiful it really is out here. Jordan Milani, TBT News.